Welcome to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, I'm going to give you tips and tricks on how to conquer Super Nintendo World, especially on the opening weekend. What you should do first, what um, you should do last, and uh, what might have the longest line. So let's get all into it right now. Alright, this moment, right where you're at the right inside, this is the moment that you should be getting your virtual cube or uh, getting your virtual line reservation, same way as pets for Super Nintendo World. You go in the app, go on the Super Nintendo World uh, virtual line section on the map, click the time slot, or select your party size and click the time slot and secure that virtual line reservation. Do not wait because it'll probably be gone. You can also do it at the kiosk down below, which I'll show you again when I get down there. But yeah, if you can, if someone has a smartphone, it just takes one person who has a smartphone and the universal app to go make the reservation right here at the entrance, and then you're good to go. The kiosks that be here are right behind me, right behind the Transformers. Those kiosks is where you can get the, uh, virtual line physically for Nintendo. When you get in the line for Toastal, it will probably be pretty long, so I suggest you go ahead and get a reservation for Toast Cafe, and then that way you're set and secure so they don't run out. They have been running out of food during the AP preview selfie during opening day. They won't run out of food, but just in case, um, you should get one hopefully for earlier in the day, like around lunchtime. If you get one in the evening at seems that I can't promise you food will be there, but I'm sure they'll figure out that food problem during uh, their, these technical rehearsals. That's what they're for. Figure out how much food you need and everything and how to run the operations. But yeah, definitely come get that Toast Cafe um, reservation because the line sometimes I've seen the snake all the way over to those toast tools over there. Next up, Mario Kart is probably what you're going to want to do next because that after your reservation, because this line's 30 minutes and it's not even, um, it's pretty, you know, empty right now. It's like this is actually half the time, probably about 15 minutes or a walk on, but still, it, uh, this can be quite long up to 100 minutes and use the upstairs queue. You don't want to wait all that time, get in this as fast as possible. You know, probably want to ride it multiple times because you'll be able to sync this power band and, uh, go ahead and get some points on this ride. So you, you want to ride this as many times as possible. So, You'd want to go when it's low or use the single rider line, which I'll show you about that right now. All right, next up, buy a power band. You can get a power band at the vending machines, which I'll show you right now, or the one up factory. But yeah, you're gonna get a power band to have a hundred times more fun in this land than if you didn't. You have fun without one, but getting a power band and looking at all your stats in the app, even that much, just that much better. There's the single rider line for Mario Kart. You can get to it coming through the warp pipe, making an immediate right turn by the testy single riders to save you a lot of time, especially fun to ride multiple times during your visit. When you're done with the Mario Kart and Toads, now it's time to do the interactive elements. Because these have no line. And then you can do all of them around the block and go in the app and look at all the achievements you can get. There's one that you get uh, like about like 75 coins or something you punch every single block in the land, upstairs and downstairs, so definitely want to go find those out. We can spend all day in here doing their achievements if you really want to. But yeah, after Mario Kart and Toast, those are the two things with the longest lines. You can do the meet and greets behind me, and the interactive elements and the games, because all those will have short lines. Alright, so I ran into my subscriber friend, Alonzo, and he's going to tell us what he thinks. A Nintendo. What do you think, Alonzo? Uh, well, so far I've been fucking, I've been loving it. Uh, I, I've been enjoying uh, Mario Kart. I try to get the high scores. Sometimes it's hard. It's like, uh, but uh, how do I say it? Uh, just been enjoying the land. The land's amazing. It looks great. Highly recommended. Highly recommended. Definitely come what through. What would you rate it? Uh, a solid eight point five out of ten. Best land at Universal Hollywood? Best land. That's right. Now, what do you think about some of these things? Come, come. What do you think about that? Oh, the little Koopa Troopa? That was a little gap in the between. Well, I mean, those are just little things that you see here and there. You kind of like ignore it, but like uh, I've, but I've it been does, hearing people say stuff about the sidelines too. Does, yeah, that doesn't affect your Oh, mind. no. 
see that for a while. Yeah, no, no, it's fun. I mean, you're just having a fun time when you're here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. These people, they never go in and they're judging before they step in. Right, right. All right, well, let me try to beat you a Mario Kart real quick. Let's do it. Last tip of the day. You, when you exit the land, you might want to get a virtual queue. Or in the land, you want, might want to get a virtual queue for the evening slot just in case you want to exit and come on back and just see it at nighttime because it's gorgeous at nighttime. But yes, other than that, that's gonna do it for this Nintendo Tips and Tricks video. I hope this helps you out tomorrow. By the time this posts tomorrow, will be grand opening day and grand opening weekend will be quite crazy. I cannot wait for that. I'll be there after work in the afternoon and I want might be there every single day on the weekend just to check out, see what's going on. If you like to see the press that thumbs up, subscribe for more theme park updates, and as always, have a fantastic day.